In this short video, I'll be talking about the roadmap, step-by-step -step approach of becoming a project manager for individuals coming from software development background. This video might also be a good starting point for individuals who wish to get into the domain of project management regardless of the industry they work in. I'll start the approach by taking you through the definition of a project manager. Then I'll talk about the skills which are required by a project manager. I'll speak a little about individuals who would benefit from this video. Individuals who are trying to get into the domain of project management in general and individuals who are into software development in particular. And then I'll spend major amount of effort on step by step approach of becoming a project manager. Before we get into the actual presentation, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Rakesh Bahadure. I am a PMI certified PMP. I am a PMI certified authorized training partner instructor for PMP. I am a certified Lean Six Sigma black belt. I was a certified safe agilist and I am a master trainer. Now let's get back to the presentation. Project manager. Let's define project manager. The project manager is the person assigned by the performing organization to lead the team that is responsible for achieving the project objectives. This is the definition provided by PMI in its PMBOK guide 6th edition. The major responsibility of a project manager as mentioned in the definition is achieving the project objectives. And she achieves this by leading and managing teams, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling the project. Now to achieve this objective, she needs to carry some specific skills in her kitty. I'll categorize the skills into two different types. The first one is power skills or soft skills and the second one is the technical skills. So now we'll move on to skills of a project manager. Let's talk about power skills or soft skills. A great deal of a project manager's effort is spent on managing, coordinating, collaborating with the stakeholders. Stakeholders are the people who are involved in the project, impacted directly or indirectly. This becomes the most important power skill an individual should have to become a project manager. I would say resilience brings about the situational leadership trait of an individual. How she overcomes obstacles, removes barriers and clears blockages are of prime importance, whether she is managing a team of people or managing her own task. I would end the power skill section on the note where the project manager shows integrity. An individual should have integrity ingrained in her to become an effective project manager. She would then be able to motivate, direct and lead a team of people. The principle of practice, what you preach, takes the precedence. One important aspect of power skill or soft skills is that these skills are extremely hard to acquire. Now let's talk about the technical skills. Let's move on to shed some light on the technical skills. These are hard skills and everyone who aspires to be or wants to be a project manager must have them. It includes managing different aspects of project such as scope, schedule, budget, resources, quality, risk, procurement, communication and so on and so forth. All in all, managing competing constraints of the project. Besides this, an individual should know different methodologies to be used while managing the projects. The methodologies could be managing projects in a traditional way or in a non-traditional agile way. This also includes how the project manager tailors the management of project depending on the size of the project, complexity of the project, environment in the organization and the culture of the organization. Now let's move on to talk about the, the individuals who this video is for. So we would be talking about the developers or the, or the people who are working in the software industry. As I said earlier, this video is specifically for individuals coming from software development background. The individuals who work as module leaders, project leaders, project coordinators, QA leaders and individuals in the similar roles depending on the organization. So you guys have experience in leading and managing team or teams of developers or testers and have at least four years of experience in doing so. Moreover, you spend half of your effort 
in analyzing, delegating, monitoring, planning tasks for the project. This makes it perfect for you to get into the domain of project management. This is where you realize that your next step is to become project manager. Now, having created the foundation for this video, let me begin by my step-by-step -step approach on becoming a project manager. I have identified five steps to achieve the objective. I'll be uh, talking about observation in step one, then doing a skills gap analysis in step two, then I'll share some insights on different approaches of acquiring skills in step three. I'll move on to then discuss about the, uh, the resume in step four and interview in step five. So let's talk about the step-by-step -step approach of becoming a project manager. Step one, which is observation. Now, let me say something about how to break in into this domain of project management. It would all start with observation, your observation, how you look at the project management in general and how you look at the workflow in your project, in your organization. Then you will move on to observe your own project manager, how she plans, executes, monitors, controls, initiates, closes and manages the project more importantly how she manages the stakeholders so what do you do after observing these actions and behaviors well i would say try to get into your project manager's shoes and find out this process can be referred to as job shadowing and it is one of the techniques used in collecting and understanding the requirements moving on check out the delegated task coming from your project manager your program manager or someone sitting at the top in the organizational hierarchy one more important area to look after is your organization's internal job portal it provides information on the skill sets and the requirements your organization is looking for in a project manager so that was the step number one which is observation step number two let's do some skills gap analysis the next logical thing to do is to spend some time on understanding where you stand and where you wish to go. I am re referring to doing a gap analysis. I would suggest in analyzing the gap between your current skill sets and the skill sets that will make you a project manager. I have already suggested some of the skill sets required by an individual to get into the domain of project management, namely the power skills and the technical skills. Uh, this analysis will provide you the data showing the skills which you do not possess and the skills which you need to acquire. Now let's move on to the step number three, which is the approach for acquiring skills. Now, subsequent to the previous step, all the aspirants should look for different options available in the market to either upgrade or enhance the skills based on the analysis done in the skills gap analysis. They should watch relevant videos, read relevant literature. It would be excellent if the individuals go for upgrading the skill sets by joining courses in project management in particular and other courses relevant to project management in general. Now, these courses come in a variety of format covering the risk management, financial management, schedule management, strategic and business management and leadership skills. The elements that would be covered in leadership skills Courses include interpersonal skills, communication skills, emotional intelligence, and so on and so forth. It would be advisable to go for project management certifications. At this point in time, PMP certification is the most sought after certification in project management for individuals who have at least four years of experience in leading and managing the projects. And CAPM for individuals who do not have any experience in project management and they wish to enter into the domain of project management. We at Tech Canvas provide preparatory course training on PMP and CAPM. This preparatory course for PMP is of 35 hours and this preparatory course for CAPM is of 23 hours. You can reach out to us should you need more information on this certification training courses. The contact details are provided at the end of this video. Now let's move on to step number four, which is you need to work on your resume. Post achieving the certifications, the individuals who are working in the organizations and wish to take up the project manager's role in the same organization should reach out to her project manager, senior project manager and HR team while updating her resume. 
Second option is if she does not want to continue working in the same organization and move to other. In this case, she needs to work on updating her resume by putting in the acquired skills, courses attended, projects led and managed and certifications. She needs to ensure that her resume matches the current type and format, providing all the details. She would need to either upload her resume on job sites or share it with her network to get the required reach. Now let's move on to step number five, which is the interview process or step. Step number four and step number five, they move hand in hand. She can start working on her resume and at the same time, she can start preparing for the PM interviews. She needs to first search for online resources to understand the interview process, the types of questions are asked in such interviews, the types of answers expected and so on and so forth. The step-by-step -step approach discussed above is not a silver bullet for getting into the domain of project management. However, it does provide a guideline for getting into the project management domain. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for your valuable time.